Okay guys, so if you haven't been watching my live streams, you might not know about what I've been working on the last 48 hours. However, I want to quickly show you guys Claude Code with Opus 4 and just how amazing it actually is. It's very good at reading documentation. Add MCPs. You can add MCPs that give documentation. I'm not talking about Context 7. You can create anything. Opus is amazing at understanding documentation. Claude Code seems to be able to code anything. And then bonus, I'm going to show you how I would actually make money from this towards the end of the video. So, first things first, I will show you guys what this has created for me. So if I do um, python run.py here, and then we open this up, this is a personalized, this is just for me right now, it will be available on the school community through some kind of access or whatever. I'm not going to be releasing this to the general public, I don't think, um, but I have built, everything that you can see here was built on live stream, so if you want to learn how to build this for yourselves, you can still do that without paying me a penny. So if I click on SEO here and go on product SEO, just look how insane this actually is. So this is an optimizer. We have a database, as you can see, this is saved as optimized. So I'll just run you through this process, right? Let's say you load all your products on Shopify. This is a Shopify plugin using the Shopify MCP um, and basically Claude Code's ability to read documentation itself on the internet and then apply that documentation in a very, very good way. So you can see here, it's optimized this. If I press apply changes, right, this will actually apply to my Shopify store. I won't show you that, you just have to believe me. I promise you it does work. And then we go to collection SEO here, and let's generate a collection. So we'll create this collection. This won't generate because I already have 5,000 collections on this store again. It works, I promise you. You can see existing collections, 5,000. You can't actually have more than 5,000 collections, which is why this won't create. But you can see it would otherwise have created the collection, but you can see it failed for the reasons I just explained. And then multi-language SEO, we can even do multi-language SEO. So I can do, for example, um, let's just translate the product uh, actually, let's translate the collection we just made. So let's pretend this was the collection that we just made. So let's translate them both, actually. So I'm going to process these. And I'm going to set this up to do everything bulk as well at some point. But for now, I'm just working through this one by one to get all of these features working. This has taken me less than 48 hours to build on Flask and uh, on Python with almost zero, well, a little bit of experience in Shopify development, but not that much experience at all. So we should see this translate here. This is taking longer than expected. I'm not sure why. Okay, this is now done. So you can see this has been translated into Spanish. Everything has been translated into Spanish. If I press apply here, this will actually create the Spanish translation on the live website, right? How insane is that? Like this is literally all done by Claude Code on WSL. So again, translation, let's apply this. By the way, guys, I'm going to be live streaming a lot more. I actually really enjoy it, and I do a lot of work during the day anyway. So I may as well just live stream some of it. And then I've added a little homepage SEO optimizer. The plan is to add ads, email marketing, and customer support. All AI generated, all for Shopify. I'll probably do WordPress as well at some point. Um, I don't think adding WordPress would be too difficult, considering how good Claude Code is. So let me just show you... Claude Code. This is honestly the best AI coding system in the world. I promise you that. So the cool thing about this is if I um, run WSL, right? So WSL is, um, I'm not going to say it. It's Linux for Windows. I'm not going to say the wrong thing. I've forgotten what it was, what it actually stands for. So let's press enter here. You can see this takes me inside Linux, right? This changes to a Linux um, subsystem. I'm going to say subsystem. If I write dir, you, what you may realize or what you may see is these are my actual files. So it's not like Docker. When you run this on Docker, it's a whole different container over here that has nothing to do with your computer. What this is, is, is a little bit of your computer 
but still within your computer's framework running on your computer, but it's running Linux. And the really good thing about being able to run Linux is it works a lot better with Claude code. It's actually designed for Claude code, right? So I can write Claude here, and this brings me inside Claude code. But just look at how good this is. Another really good thing, by the way, is you can compact the conversation. So instead of when it gets to 200K tokens, right, which is an absolute nightmare, and then you're done, you can't do anything anymore, you can compact and this will then pass it on. And it works pretty well. I've coded this entire thing and I've not really had that many problems with compacting, right? The other thing is I'm paying 180 a month. A lot of people, I'm just answering frequently asked questions that people keep asking me. I'm paying 180 a month. I've never hit a rate limit, right? Which means effectively this is pretty much unlimited opus for, for 180 a month. If you use this every single day of your life, you will save money if you pay for the max plan instead of paying for API usage. Okay, so just bear that in mind. But just look how good this system is. I've vibe coded everything here. I can just look how good this is. You just run through it over and over. It fixes this, you change this, and then you fix this. You fix this. Like, it's actually insane how good this system is, right? So what you can do is, for example, is let's say we want to make a new Next.js project, right? So give me the commands to make a new Next.js project on my Windows machine inside this directory. I don't. I want it to do it for me, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if Claude Code can actually run NPX. So we'll grab the command here, we'll press plus, and then we'll run this. Um, Oh god, I almost wrote something so stupid as a, as a name for a file. Okay, so this will now be, right, once this is finished, you can grab this, right, and you can say I just created a new Next.js project inside. This is the folder I want to work on, okay? So I need to make sure to leave this open because this is uh, my thing that I'm gonna be working on tomorrow when I stream. Okay, so it's, it, it's now inside that directory, right? So now we can make whatever we want here. So I can open this up uh, maybe I can do, no. So let's open this up in, uh, Visual Studio Code. And it's just like having Klein, but it's made by Anthropic. This is another thing that people keep asking me. Why not just use Roo? Why not just use Klein? Et cetera, et cetera. But the thing is, right, Anthropic is a $60 billion company. And this is actually the tool that they use in Anthropic to make their engineers better. So to ignore such a gift would just be ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, okay, so now we can run code. Like we can say, for example, if I go on my school community, we could build, I'm not gonna run through this whole process now, but let's say I wanted to build a um, service-based website, right? So we go to classroom, um, all my prompts. Then we just grab this prompt here. Um, oh, I, I can actually add images, so let's go to Rolls-Royce Rental. Uh, here, has this got images inside it? Yeah. So we'll actually put the images inside here, so this would be public, is already here. Um, images. Wait, that was incorrect. I need to just paste into public, there we go. Okay, um, these were my install settings. These are my install settings. And then we copy this, and my prompt. Remember, the directory is 909. 
let me paste, right? So now this is going to build an entire, oh, wait. Also, I did Next.js later. Okay, so this could now code for us. But one more thing I'm going to show you actually is please do research into this text stack before continuing. Ideally, reading the latest docs from the official documentation only. So the cool thing is without any MCPs or anything, this is now going to go through the in, uh, go on the internet and it's going to search through Next.js docs, for example. It's going to scrape them. It's going to find out information. It's going to find syntax. And then one thing that Opus is better than any other model at is what I like to call applying. I'll just call it applying, right? So a lot of models, they'll read the context, but they won't apply the context to what they're coding. They'll still use their kind of backup brain, like their, their original brain. What Opus, and I haven't tested Sonic 4 as, uh, anywhere near as much, but what these models, I believe, one of the things they improved was a application, right? So it will read this documentation and then it will apply what it's read in a much better way. Now, I don't know if that's because of um, Opus or if it's because of Claude Code, right? I don't actually know the answer to that, but... Let's read that, error requesting, okay. And then, yeah, basically this will go off and build exactly what I've asked it to build. Claude code is changing the game when it comes to, it's not just Claude code, it's Opus. Opus 4 and Claude code, there is literally no better combination on Earth right now. The only other thing that I would potentially use is Replit, depending on what I'm building, right? So you can see this has now done exactly what I asked it to do. It's now going to go through these one by one and build this entire project. It's got a really nice to-do list so you can keep an eye on things. And I have full confidence that this will build something that, you know, is complete and ready to go. Now, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. This is not going to be an instructional video on how to make one of these. It's also not a benchmarking thing. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the project that I made the Shopify optimizer, also to shout out the live streams and tell people to check out the live streams. I'll probably be live streaming daily. And also just wanted to say that Opus 4 and Claude Code are seeming absolutely bloody nuts. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.